everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. In today's day and age, so many people are quitting their jobs or transitioning their jobs to work from home remotely. And there's no better floor plan, in my opinion, that works better because it gives you an awesome rear living room area and your own private bunk room or office area. This is the 2023 Grand Design Solitude Model 378 MBS. We are gonna be taking a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things we love about the Solitude and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Again, welcome back to another video. Again, today I am super excited to be taking a look at a super popular Grand Design Solitude. Last time we were here in North Canton, Ohio, we were taking a look at Nate and Marissa's Solitude. So it's really awesome that we're taking a look at this one. Before I begin, gotta say hi to Will. Hey, Will! Hey guys! So how's it going today? It's going good. It's a beautiful day, guys. It's two o'clock in the afternoon, and you would never know because it's just great weather. Well, we haven't broken a sweat yet. We and haven't. we only have two Grand Design Solitudes right. to choose from, but what's so awesome about General RV? Um, how many different dealerships we have and you can get it transferred if there's another floor plan. I mean, yeah, another floor plan at another store, but you live in this area. Guys, if you live in Ohio and you want a Grand Design Solitude, but you don't like this floor plan or that floor plan, if it's at our Wixom store, we'll just transfer it yeah, over to the no Ohio biggie. store and then you still get the best price in America. That's what I love about Grand Design and General yep. RV. Well, let's begin. All right. Model is the Solitude 378 MBS. The actual tip to tip length of this fifth wheel is 40 feet, two inches. The dry weight is 13,000. The dry weight is 14,336 pounds. And the hitch weight is 2,686 pounds. Pretty heavy. It is. Well, it's a beautiful fifth wheel painted fiberglass front cap. Got some stickers and decals there. You can get the optional full body paint like Nate and Marissa did. Right. And Nate and Marissa currently, um, I believe they're selling theirs. Right. Or it's already sold by the time you're watching this. And they're in the process of making their own grain design. Ooh. So we're excited to see who they pick it up from. You hear that, <laughs> Nate? I, call, I, I called them too. When I saw that video, I was like, better pick it up for me. Don't <laughs> let me see you down at Lazy World down That's there. That's right. <laughs> uh, very nice front cap right here. Right here, Will, we do have the very nice Moride pin box. Okay. I like that. Yes, sir. Heavy duty. And then coming on down here. Don't leave, let me see you down there. And then right here, we do have storage with the cutouts there. Do you see any wiring, Will? I do not. I do not see wiring. It doesn't mean it's not prepped for a generator, but either way, you can definitely get a generator in there. Of course, of course. Right over here, we got our propane tanks. Okay. And then here you can see that it does have the six point hydraulic auto leveling. Nice. Yes, sir. Right over here. Very nice storage. Okay. Good amount of storage. Not the best, definitely not the worst. Centralized vacuum there, battery disconnect, slam latch doors. And then here. Oh, I love that. Yes, a little Danby fridge right here. Very nice. Nice little suburban cooktop. Oh, you know who else has this floor plan? Who? Matt and Ashley. Oh, them? Yeah. Good for them. <laughs> you know, Will's all like, hey, me and Jenna are going to go on an Alaskan cruise. I'm like, you know what? Go have fun. Spend time together. But no. Because I don't want to intrude, because believe it or not, I can suck up the center of attention. Believe it or not. And, uh, but no, Matt and Ashley Valdez decided that they were also going on that cruise. And so they got to spend time with my best friends. Yeah. Unreal. You were invited too. Unreal. I was trying to you give you guys. Not to come. I was trying to give you and Jen some alone time, but you uh, know. No. Yeah, you had alone time with your new set of best friends. Yeah, right. Uh, six point hydraulic auto leveling. Traded one mat in for the other. Dang. <laughs> and then it does have the four season weather tech package. 
with the Arctic insulation. Also, the Kita like system from Limper. And then right here, you do have the hydraulic auto leveling. Nice. Yes. I said that wrong. Hydraulic. Hydraulic assist assisted for the step. steps. Yep. And then look at these tires. Well, they're the Coopers. I love those. 215-75R, 17.5 with the Moride CRE 3000 suspension. Now, Will, what's exciting about the Cooper tires? Okay, so since it has the Cooper tires, it also means that it has the ABS system, which uh, we talked about a few videos ago, but it's gonna give you like the best control when you're towing, especially in, you know, wet roads, snowy roads, um, you know, heavy, you have to brake really hard, any of that stuff. So on top of that, um, not only does it have the ABS, but it also has the AK axle. Yes, yes. And then on top of that, well, notice the sticker. It doesn't say prepped for the tire link. It says equipped, equipped with the tire link, tire pressure monitoring system from Lippert. I'm loving that. Right here, Will, we do have frameless windows. Okay. Nice power awning on the slide outs and power awning down there. Nice. Very nice. And you do have this Rockford uh, speakers for the outside. Okay. Yes, sir. Coming around the back, Will, we do have a 3,000 pound hitch with a four pin connector. Nice. So technically you can tow behind this. Technically, we never recommend doing that. That's not a good idea. You do have a ladder to get up on the roof and a Furion backup camera prep. Well, you know what they say, just cause you can, doesn't, doesn't mean, mean you, you should. should. Yep. yep, exactly. All right, finishing up. Let's see where we're dumping our tanks, right there. Right here, we got 50 amp power. Okay. okay. Right here is where we're dumping our tank. 10 yeah. gallon DSI water heater here. And then right here, we have nice storage, potable water fill, potable, potable. Um, outdoor shower, water filtration system, everything. And then here is the other side of that storage. Right there. There you go. Pretty good. Oh, oh and, and uh, a reel for oh, your cool. power cord. That's cool. Yeah, it is cool, Will. So glad your best friends have one of these. Yeah, me too. Well, Will. We have another propane tank there. Okay. The outside of this fifth wheel looks great, but the inside looks even better. Let's go take a look. All right. Check out the inside. Okay. All right. You got the bedroom up here. Bathroom in the middle. Coming down is the bunk room here. The living area, dining area, and kitchen in the back. Home is where you park it, Will. Yep. The inside of this unit looks beautiful. Let's give a big shout out to Lipper. Are you looking to make your mark on the RV industry? Well, look no further than Lippert Scouts. As a member of the Lippert Scouts community, you'll have your opportunity to share feedback on products and services that you've used during your adventures. Your insight will be used to drive innovation and development for years to come. You could be the key to unlocking the next big thing in RV. But Lippert Scouts isn't just about making a difference. It's also about connecting fellow RVers and campers in an awesome community, guys. Swap tips, hacks, your favorite camping stories, and make new friends that have that same passion for the outdoors as you do. And if you need support, no problem. There's Lipper customer care team members on that app, always available and willing to help. Guys, join Lippert Scouts today. It's completely free. You can get to it on Facebook, or now they have the app. You can get it for Apple and Android. You can get the full experience at your fingertips, don't wait. Be a part of this great community that is really shaping the future of RV. Join Lippert Scouts today. And just like that, Will, we are back. You see how we did that? I do. Yes, sir. First and foremost, five, hu oh, five huge storage doors. Right, tons of storage. Look at all of that. Very big and nice. Nice windows all the way around, nice balances and everything. And then right here, you have your slow rise privacy shades. 
Right there we have a uh, nice little light fixtures. Okay. And a very nice sofa. Tri cushion trifold. We know how wide this is. Uh, 100. I believe they're doing 101 inch. Okay. Somewhere between 100 and 102 inch. Thank you. <laughs> We're not 100 percent sure, Will. It's a wide body. It's yeah. a wide body. Yes, sir. Hey, baby, got back. <laughs> you know, we got. There's another wide body. Dang. <laughs> right here. We got your power little end tables there. It's okay. There's one behind the camera too. There you go. Thank you. You can't shame me without shaming yourself. All right. Okay. And then this does come out to make a bed. Okay. It's kind of like comedians, Will. Listen, my generation, they're soft serve ice cream. They're like, well, you can't make fun of us. They make fun of everybody. Why? Right. Like, yeah, yeah. Who's your favorite comedian right now? Guys, drop a comment down below. Who's your favorite comedian right now? I got three that's always showing up on my For You page. Who is it? Andrew Schultz. Okay. Funny. Theon. Okay. Theo. Theo Vaughn. And then the good looking guy. Matt Rife. Yeah. That's my favorite. Dude, he's a good looking man. Is he not? <laughs> right. That's funny. Really nice looking, um, trifold. Okay. Is there any other comedians that are pretty good right now? Truthfully, I don't even listen to the other two. I only have Matt Rife pop up. All right. I'm not on TikTok that much though. Uh, you know. Over here, Will. Notice the nice flush floor slide. Yep. Very nice. And then we do have the Thomas Paine collection theater nice. seat. Nice. Yes, sir. I think it's electric, isn't it? Electric recliner. Cup holders here. Nice uh, storage there. So there was this one funny comedian at the Lippert getaway. Yeah. That we'll tell you about. Right? And then directly across from the theater seat is the entertainment center. He made a joke about RVers. Uh huh. Okay, here's the sound system. This TV is on a televator, and the televator was actually incorporated, designed by Nate and Marissa. Right. Um, it was just a TV stand, and they're all like, no, give us a televator. Great Which design, I think is loved smart. it so much that yeah. they incorporated it in all the 378s. And then underneath there is a fireplace. And it does produce heat from electricity. So the comedian was talking about RVers when they list stuff, when they list yeah. the RV on Craigslist. Asking, asking $59,000. No holds, no trades. I, I know, know what, what I, I got. got. <laughs> yep. And uh, that is, if you're watching behind the camera, that's you. Yeah. You know. If you're getting ready to sell your RV. Yeah, I know what. I if, put a hundred bucks I was going to be in your. If you're selling your RV yourself because you don't want to trade it into the dealership. Right. That's you there. Mm -hmm. And then right here, well, I am loving these chairs because they're almost booth style chairs. Right. I love how they both connect. Nice windows all the way around. And uh, this is a very nice table with a little extension. And here's what I will say. Will just sold his I know, other I fifth wheel. That. I didn't say that. What? I didn't. I, I was just thinking that, but I didn't say. Well, that's why it took you freaking eight months to sell it. And let me tell you guys something. We are going to have a video coming out about selling your own RV yourself. Listen, nobody, li nobody likes their trade-in numbers. But what we do as General RV or any dealership, there's a reason why, you know. It costs money. Yeah. It was a pain selling it, honestly. Right. And stress. You know what I mean? There you go. Well, so, we will have a video about that later. But first, before you show the kitchen, yeah. you know what time it is? It's now time for, for the, the MSRP. MSRP. Burr, 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 burr. How am I showing you? MSRP on this fifth wheel here, stock number 266966, is $130,322. Will. That is MSRP. Okay. Mercipi. Sale price, we're not allowed to advertise sale price because that's a grand design rule. Right. But we don't sell it at MSRP. Not only that, not only do we give you a sale price when you reach out to us, we give you the absolute best sale price. That's because we're with General RV. So all you got to do is go to generalrv.com slash matscash. 
We've linked it down in the YouTube description below. You can get there from mattsrvreviews.com or call 844-969-4033. Please reach out to us any way you can because our team is here to help everybody get the absolute best price in America. And if you live in Florida and you like this exact unit, we'll just ship it down there to Florida for you. Yeah. Or you can come on up here and pick it up and get your service work down in Florida. There well, it doesn't matter to us where you pick it up. Just, just buy one from us. That's right. Easy breezy. Right over here, you got a nice pantry. Yes, very that's nice. Hey, that's $156 trash can. Right. Sorry, Will, I forgot my line. It's okay. You got a couple drawers here. And then over here, you got storage up top, held up by the strut. Yes. With a hinge. Nice big microwave right here. It's okay. Insignia. Nice backsplash, four burner insignia cooktop with a little bit of countertop space on both sides. Not really. Not really, and a nice big oven right there, but enough to put a spoon there. Turkey tested? Turkey approved. Yes, sir, yes, yeah. spoon storage right there. Yeah. Over here, you have the Norco two-way refrigerator. So this is an option, or I don't know what's the standard, but you can also get this with a residential refrigerator. Okay, good, good. That's what my friends did, the whole does, is they swapped it out. Yeah, better friends than me. <laughs> Nice big kitchen island right here. Extension faucet, double bowl sink. You got power right there, storage, drawers right there. Oh, flush floor slide. Yes. Well. And then storage under here as well. Yes. Okay, back over here. Yes. Storage up top. Right Very there. nice. Nice wine rack there. I love this backsplash again, hand laid, um, real tile and everything. Nice coffee bar, taco bar right yes. there. And you have store, you have drawers all the way across the top here. So much storage. Right. Wow. And then here you got storage there. Yes. And here as well. Very nice. All right. Well, we actually should have done the kitchen before the MSRP. Cause I forgot there was a mid bunk area. Right. I'm loving this though. Flush floor slide out again. Sofa, oh, nice. it comes out and makes a bed. Windows around the sofa so, so it doesn't feel so small in here. Change from Nate and Marissa's. Nate and Marissa right. have the wall. But I, didn't they custom order that? Yeah, I don't like that. I like this better. I kind of like this better too. I like the high ceilings. And then right here, Sir William, you have a bed that drops down if you need it. Okay. Come on in here. Show us that super high storage. Oh, look at that. What Tons of storage up top. Oh, so it's accessible Oh, it on connects the to side. the other side. I think, I think I remember that or something. Yeah, we knew that. Storage up top there. Yes. And here. Wow, look, all, all, all from the other that side. Is accessible from the other side. Shelf there, and then drawers for the kids here. Come on. Very nice. I love that desk. Yes. TV placement there. Right, and you take one of those chairs, and I have like a little yeah. office area. Yep. Super nice. All right, well, go to that shower. Shower, okay. Are you thinking of dislikes? I'm trying to. I haven't seen any yet. No. FYI. Up, oh, and then again, this connects to that. That's so cool. Huge encore shower, plenty of head height. Nice teak seat, nice uh, residential style. This definitely passes. Bing! That's the shower test seal of approval. It sure is. Right over here, here's where you uh, store your towels. Okay. Okay, you also have a towel holder right there. Nice. Nice mirrored medicine cabinet. Very nice. Nice solid surface countertop sink here. Okay. Storage underneath here. Okay. And then, oh, liquefy! There you go. Guys, you can now get the tablets and liquid at primepoopmusician.com. And you can also pick up a bottle of the liquid at your local General right. RV. Thank you to everybody who's been buying the best toilet chemical in the industry and helping us create a kick butt company. Yes, thank you. Does Valdez use liquefy? He does. There you go. I guess he's not that bad. I don't know if he does, actually. But I, I think he, he does. I know he does. Okay. Well, this is a prime poop position. Bing! Just remember who introduced who. I don't think you introduced anybody. Oh, really? Yeah. She didn't recognize, Miss Va Ashley didn't recognize me. She recognized at Camp Margarita us. us. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Guys, leave in the comments below, where do you think 
the Knowles Valdez Cruz should be next. Wow. <laughs> okay. King size bed here. It's funny because you're triggering me. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Windows on both sides. Nice headboard. A third window up there. TVs over here. Lift here for the secret storage. Cool. Yes, sir. Very nice. Nice storage there. Okay. Over here. Whoa, careful. Storage above. Right over here. More is that storage. Much the dryer prep or? This is not. Okay. Nice drawer there. Ah, oh, there uh, it is. Okay. See, even that I love. Yeah. Like how it's kind of right in the middle. Yeah. And it's kind of like its own little thing too. You know yeah, what I mean? Exactly. Right there. More storage. You got a couple drawers down below. Yes, sir. Power and USB right there. Jeez. Tons okay of storage. There. Yes, sir. Very nice. And to wrap it all up, there is huge storage underneath this bed. Yeah. And that ah, out. yeah. And pull that out. They right have there. a place to sit. Yeah. To tie your shoes. There you go. One, two, buckle your shoe. All right. Well, well, that's it. That's the review. Now, before everybody leaves, it's time to give people three things we love about this fifth wheel and three things we don't like. Will, what do we do first? Man. Let's do likes. Okay. Because we need to figure out this likes. I know, I know. Like number one for me, well, it's going to be this bedroom. I know. It's, it's very big and spacious. I like the washer dryer being right over the pin box, and I love this king size bed. Okay. That's like number one. Well, what's like number two? Like number two, going to be contrary to what me and Marissa did. I like this bunk room the way that it is with the tall ceilings, yes. tons of storage. Um, I like this better. Now, I get why they did it. Wow. You know, like their son uh, or their daughter sleeps in here. I think the son sleeps up in the loft just probably to give them like some space. But for me personally, I like this a little bit better. Wow. And I'm just thinking last since they had their loft. Yeah. We made that a dislike last time. Did we? Yeah. So now we need to really find dislikes. Um, that's like number two. Well, and then like number three is gonna has to be the ABS from Limber. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's such an awesome feature to have. The 8K axles, the 17.5 Cooper tires. I'm loving that features, and I love the fit and finish of these grand designs. Yeah, I agree. I mean, it's one of those things. You know, I've been saying this. Yeah, we love other brands of RVs and we sell plenty of everything, right? Yep. But the one thing we do sell the most of at General RV is the grand design. Right, for and sure. And there's a reason. Well, well, that's three things we love about this unit. Now it's time for three things we don't like about it. Bum, bum, bum. Will, we've had, I, I've had a 10 minute break. Do you yeah. know why? Because Sean called. Well, one, because Sean called. But what I'm trying to say is, Will, I did not know any of the dislikes. I couldn't find any. I couldn't think of any. I actually had to revert back to old videos, and then I'm all like, okay, that all makes sense. You ready for this? Yeah. Dislike number one is going to be the dump station on the outside. Oh, uh, yeah. It is in the middle of the slide out. We mm -hmm. hate that. Again, that is a lame cop out. But again, you guys got to remember, this is a fantastic unit. Right. That is dislike number one. Well, dislike number two is I what remember. you're leaning on. Yep. Yep. This kitchen island is huge. It's wonderful and nice, but, but it's, it's really literally blocking. into the living room. Yeah. Again, it is what it is, and it's really not that big of a deal. Right. But it's Still. just a dislike. Yeah. That's number two. And then dislike number three last time was the pantry right here. Which mm. made the TV small. Good point. They should have done the pantry over there. Yep. Yep. Exactly. Not only that, there's like no side tables yep. for the um for the grill or whatever. And like you could have like used that. You know what I'm saying? See, those are all good dislikes. We Thank you, to, sir. We need to pay better attention. Yeah. Well, we just got to think, think outside the box. And you know what, Will? I mean, that's why you guys should go back and watch all of our videos. Right. All of them. Hundreds <laughs> of hours. Will, that's three things we dislike about it. Now it's time for three things we love about this fifth wheel. Why don't you go first? Well, to kind of contradict what you were saying, I do love how big this kitchen island is. Wow. And the countertop space. Yeah. I agree, it's give and take, but with that take, there was also a 
or with that give, there was also a take here. There you go. Well, that's number one. Number two for me is going to be... We already did this. What? Likes. We did likes? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. You said the bedroom. I said the... <laughs> Oh Mid my month. god. <laughs> so you just gave me a fourth light. I did, yeah. Well, I'm so sorry, America. Guys, that, that that's <laughs> why we don't take phone calls in the middle of filming. Right. That's it. That's the review. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys are interested in getting this grand design or any grand design, all you have to do is go to generalrv.com slash Matt's We've linked it down in the YouTube description below. You can get there from mattsrvreviews.com or call 844-969-4033. Guys, there's nobody on this planet that sells more grand designs than us and our team. So please reach out to us. I promise you, we it, we will make it worth your while to buy from us rather than another brand yes. of dealership. Will, what say you? Guys, thank you all so much for watching. This is such a good floor plan. This has to be probably the most popular mid-bunk floor plan out there. In the world. For full pros. Um, make sure to leave down in the comments below. Let us know three things you like, three things you dislike about it. Make sure to smash thumbs up button and subscribe. Thank you absolutely everybody yes, so much you. for watching. And Will, we'll see you next time.